everybody has a destiny that God has put us on this earth to walk in. So don't don't put yourself in a bubble and you feel like you can't get out that bubble. Step outside the box and press towards what God has called for your mark of your higher calling. Uh, so why have uh, why have you decided to keep it here at Southern Middle School instead of branching out or or anything like that? What's your purpose in just keeping it right here? I personally feel that every school should have a program, a mentor program for our males. Um, and the reason I is stay here at Southern is because I don't want to leave Southern to branch out, and I don't want to take on more than I know I can't handle to have something else going on. But the good thing about it is now in Northern Middle School we have Men of Valor. And I, I'm, Men of Valor's advisor is Austin Harris. Austin Harris is a man of distinction. So it flowed. And um, so, you know, for him to be over at Northern and he's a member of Men of Distinction and he has Men of Valor, that proves that the program works. Um, so therefore, um, there's no need to branch out because now I have foot soldiers who are branching out to carry on men of distinction throughout the camp. <clears throat> so uh, how many off the top of your head range can you say uh, who have been members of men of distinction? Number wise? Number wise. I've got to estimate that it's close to 500. Because we, yearly we average between 60 to 65 members of men of distinction throughout the school year. So if we're averaging 65 to, it might be more than 500, but I'm seeing at least 500 or more. And where are the different places that you've seen your members in life, in, in areas throughout the country? Where are the different um, heights that some of your members have, have gotten to? The first president of men of distinction right now works for Chick-fil-A. He is a top manager trainee for Chick-fil-A. So he goes, that? his name is Lee Oakley. So Lee goes all across the country, opening up Chick-fil-A's, training these young men how to um, open, how to, training managers how to open up Chick-fil-A's. So he's been doing that for a number of years. Um, and he's a lot, so he's been all over the country. Um, another one I have to come to mind is um, Eric Marsh. Eric Marsh now, he's um, an architect with the city of Durham. Um, so he's doing outstanding things. Um, so I'm trying to think to make sure I don't want to, I hate calling names because I always miss somebody. So, um, and of course I've mentioned Dwayne, but Dwayne Johnson who uh, went off to North Carolina Central and was the elected the first two times SGA president back to back and came back to Person County. Now he's going to be um, assistant principal at Northern Middle School. So the success stories to me outweigh the bad stories. I have young men who served in the military. Um, um, so they just continue to evolve, you know, and I have one that just left the other day going to the military. So it makes a difference. They just go off and do what they got to do. So as long as they're being successful and whatever they choose to do, they make me proud. Um, so, outside of, of Men of Distinction, you do have a, uh, a voice in the community, a well-respected voice in the community. Um, and one of the things you lend your voice to um, on pretty much a daily basis is encouraging Facebook friends. Uh, so your, your most recent uh, post from earlier today, it said, uh, don't downgrade your dreams, just fit just to fit your reality, upgrade your convictions to match your destiny. Walk in the destiny that God has prepared for you. Make it a terrific Tuesday. Be blessed and smile. Where do those uh, words of encouragement come from? I feel as the, I say this all the time when I hear somebody say something about your quote inspired me. Um, I quote to inspire to inspire me, <laughs> um, um, because you never know what somebody else is going through, and and some things I put out there is it, coming from a place of me saying you know today this is what I need to do. Um, so today's message was basically saying um, everybody has a destiny that God has put us on this earth to walk in. So don't 
don't put yourself in a bubble and you feel like you can't get out that bubble. Step outside the box and press towards what God has called for your mark or your higher calling. Um, so I just feel as though that we all serve as a higher power and that if I can encourage myself, then I'm encouraging somebody else along the way. Do you, um, and obviously um, I'm sure you do, but you, you realize that you walked into your calling as well, being here at Southern Middle School, ISS coordinator, and uh, one, the founder of Mentors of Distinction, that was the calling God placed on you. Um, so on a daily basis, you know, what are you doing to make sure you fulfill the call that has been placed on your life? Pray, pray, pray. Before I leave my house, pray, you know, um, and I always ask God, Lord, let me do something today that's going to make a difference in the life of these boys. So let me do something today that's going to make a difference in the life of these boys. I, I think prayer is a powerful thing. Um, and, and so a daily prayer. And because uh, you never know what you're going to face each day in the school system. Each day in the, in the school is a different day. You know, you might have had this go on this day and food fight in the cafeteria this day. So it's constantly just stay prayed up. And obviously you can't make your students um, engage in anything religious. But what do you think? Uh, how do you think God is able to work through you even without you being able to say the name Jesus? Mm -hmm. But God is able to work through you in this setting. How, how do you feel that works for you? I think it goes back to what you said, um, that it's a calling. He, I feel as though that um, this is what he called me to do. Um, so I, I think that he works on me in different aspects of that um, to let me know that everything's gonna be all right. There were times when I said, I'm done. You know, I, I, I can't do this no more. It, it's too much of a headache because you're battling over here and you're battling over there. And it goes back to one of the boys coming back and saying, Mr. Poole, because of you, well, I can't stop now because if I got that, I can go back and do that. So, you know, that's how I view that. I mean, you know, it's, it's something that I feel as though that God put me on here for a purpose of, and I, I'm walking in my purpose and I'm walking in my destiny. And um, I could retire, <laughs> you know, and go home and sit, but then my mind says, who's gonna take care of the boys? So I just feel like God called me to do this.